Sadiq is a 16-year-old boy from the Republic of Bene. He left his home for Nigeria at the age of 12 to help meet the needs of his family. Well, I came to Nigeria to work as a maid so that the money I made would be sent to my family at home. Jan is 17. He ran away from home at the age of 14 when, according to him, his mom, who was separated from his father, could no longer meet his needs. Ultimately, Jan got involved in one vice after another. And I ran again because of I stole chicken. Um, I'm a hot killer of chicken. I used to kill chicken where we all the street. They know me as chicken killer. Shion is 15. His parents were also separated. He ran away from home when he said he found his life unbearable. Oh, she's not providing for me. What else? No, let me go to school again. He said he was often beaten by his mom when he refuses to hawk wares in the street. Physical abuse is just one form of child abuse, but all types of abuse leave lasting scars. We know that an adult should have mutual respect for others. They should have their self-esteem. They should have self-confidence. And they should be able to, to exhibit um, responsibility when it is demanded of them. All these will be affected in a child that has been abused. Emotional abuse leave even more lasting scars that you could see the marks on them. We have quite a number of children, even other than the ones in our shelter, quite a number of children are emotionally abused. The International Center for Assault Prevention says that emotional abuse is more devastating than physical ones. They say that our child's cuts and bruises heals quicker than the emotional ones and that a victim might not be able to recognize and overcome emotional pain, especially when it occurs on a daily basis. The World Health Organization says approximately 40 million children below the age of 15 are subjected to abuse each year. But children have rights that should be protected. There's a right uh, to identity, a right to citizenship, a right to protection, you know, a right to uh, a family and all that. You know, there are so many rights. Sadiq and John have been able to get their lives back thanks to social workers and caregivers, but more children remain at risk. Wendy Abu, TVC News, Lagos.